Welcome my friends, Simon Gray here. Thank you for joining me for this episode today. I'm camped in the Arizona desert down near Quartzsite, Arizona. And today I'm in the step van boondocking solar off grid. And I'm doing just a couple of things, getting ready to go out to Jamie's van build party. I've attended the past two years. This will be my third year attending this event. And hopefully doing a little bit more work on the step van wrapping things up i'm in the last five ten percent maybe seven percent left to do on the step van just a few finishing touches but today i'm working on one small project let me show you over the door area of my step van i have these wonderful screens that i've seen so many people use they're magnetic so there's a series of magnets here on this area and it opens up and then when you let go of it it sort of just pops back together with the magnets holding it together which makes it easy to go in and out and to keep bugs and flies and insects out really great for insects not so good for rodents let me show you this is the back of the step van i have an identical screen here at the back which is absolutely fabulous i love opening up the doors like you see now the downside is recently I was parked in Denver, Colorado behind my friend's house, Steve, and he has a very malicious, intelligent squirrel that wants his way with food. And he decided he wanted to get through this screen. You can see over here that he took and decided to eat a hole right here through the screen. So you can see he just ate his way through right into the top of a pile of stuff and then right back over here, there's a bunch of food. And so I was laying in the bed back over here reading a book when I heard munching coming back from over here and he was inside of a plastic bag getting like crackers or something like that. And he had eaten a hole through the back here. So today I'm gonna to remove this screen that's damaged and replace it with a new one because this is one of the primary uses of the screen and I wanna have full coverage here. And I'm going to take this screen and put it by my driver's side door because oftentimes I don't open that door, but I like to crack that window. So this will give me a window screen on my driver's side door, which is above this point that was eaten by the squirrel. So that's my project for today. You can get these screens from Amazon. I'll put a link down below so you can check those out. They run anywhere from $20 to $27 depending on the season you get those but they can get it you can buy these in all sorts of different sizes so you just measure your dimensions and then they're attached with velcro so i'm going to go ahead and open this one up i guess you could call this an unboxing here but not really So pretty straightforward, you just open it up. There's a plastic bag which has the product in it. And inside there'll be a roll of like Velcro tape. And so you can see the roll here. And you just um, run this with adhesive around the edge of your door. And then you can hang and attach it. Uh, you can also adapt it for the top by rolling it on the top or using clips or something like that to shorten it. Just so it happens this is exactly the right size down to within a half inch of what I need for the doorway uh, for all of my doors. They're the same dimension. So this is a really handy, cool thing and I love it and highly recommend it for anyone. Inside you have the screen itself the tape, and then a insert sheet, which is also your instructions on how to install it. Really easy to do. This pack here has a little tiny box. Inside are some thumbtacks. If you're using this in the house, oftentimes you have a wood trim around the edges, and instead of using Velcro, you can use the thumbtacks. Uh, I'm not going to be using those. I'll be using the Velcro with the adhesive. This stuff is pretty easy to install. Basically, it's just adhesive on Velcro. And you just go in and stick it on. Pretty easy to do. Okay. 
there you go that's the top piece okay I've got it completely installed for the velcro so now I've just got to go pull the screen off of the back door and bring it over here and install it in the driver's side all right the last step is to install the screen from the back on my side door to find the top there it is all right this is the top one side is velcro cloth and the other side is not and try to line it up here so that it looks about correct and i think this is it all right it's looking pretty good and now i have the old screen from the back door installed in my driver's store pretty good just got to go swap and put the new screen in the back and now my back screen is in and installed so this will be really nice for cross ventilation now I have two doors in the front plus the back so I can get ventilation all the way through plus the ceiling fans and I have air conditioning which by the way the air conditioning is working fantastic I'll have to do another video update on that to show you power consumption and how that's working out so stay tuned in the future if you want to check out the air conditioning setup over the next couple of weeks I'm going to be out at Jamie's Van Build Party that's near Parker Arizona if you happen to be attending that event love to have you come past and pay a visit let me show you how you know who I am. I imagine there'll be a number of step vans at the event, many of them white. Mine has a seven on it, so I have my name right on the side of the step van. And you can identify my step van because I have an AC unit on the back top corner here. So if you happen to be attending the van build, I would love to have you come and visit. That's all I have for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. Savor the moment, and I'll see you in a future video.